my perception of the show is it's probably one of the most real and relatable shows you'll see. I don't know, it's definitely something I've never done before, and I think that's that's what really attracted me to it in the first, you know, couple of days when you know, Jamario and Kelby were kind of pitching me the idea of what they were trying to do here. It is a modern queer adaptation of the classic Cyrano de Bergerac. Um, but instead of flowery love letters and poetry uh, to woo my Roxanne, it's more through the culinary expression of food. The way Kelby rewrote and put our actual personalities into these characters makes it so tangible and it'd be hard to find anyone who can't relate with either all the characters or all of the storyline or even just parts of it. Um, I think Alex Ragano is a, it's a lot like me. She's passionate and goofy and fun and lovable but ultimately so terrified of, of rejection. Chris is a, I think Chris is a really relatable dude. I think he just, you know, he, he's lucky because he's got his family owned business that's kind of been helping him out. So he's got confidence from that. Um, but he doesn't necessarily have great social skills in terms of, I don't know, like courting a girl. Um, like there's plenty of times in the play where he's just like, uh, 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 he doesn't know what to say. Um, and I think, I think that's a relatable part of him that I can kind of connect to. I spent some time with Kelby before the script came out she clearly put my DNA in this character so there's parts of her that I love because you know I'm a fan of me but then there's parts of me that I'm like ugh I hate that being under the microscope I hate being so vulnerable I think in this moment in Alex's life she's she has a choice to make she can either continue living in fear or she's gonna come out and make that leap of faith, so I guess you'll have to come see the, the show.